I'm at another abandoned golf course. Now, I did say on the last one, when we was down at La Manga, that was gonna be the last golf course. Now, I'm talking about the Murphy region. I'm in the Murphy region. First of all, I've got to thank Fiona. She knows she is. She, she sent a photograph. She was going back on the bus one day and she took a photograph of this place. So she gave me the name of the, the town, looked it up, sure enough, another golf course. So I'm gonna give you the spill now, okay, just a quick sec. For those people that are after the t-shirt, especially the expat Mazarin subscribers t-shirt, I'll bring on my model now. Good evening. This will be the t-shirt that you can get, guys. Now, if you want a t-shirt, if you look below the video, in the description, there'll be a link there. I'm off again. See ya. So 2007, within seven years of, from 2007, it was stopping and going. It went in the courts. I'll tell you what, why later on in the gabble. So the idea of this place was they've got to build 2,138 homes, a two 18-hole golf course, luxury five-star hotel was going to be built, a multi-sports centre, um, shops and restaurants, the usual thing that you find any of these big ideas that they do. Now, on this golf course, we've just turned up the day. It's the first time I've been here. The roads are not really laid out. It, Every now and again, you'll see where they put some um, curb stones and things like that. Anyway, the main problem we had, the reason why in that seven years from 2007, it was stopping and starting is because even though the the city council from the, um, I've got Jamila, but here in Spain, they pronounce the J as a H, they call, so it's called Hamila, but I don't know if that's correct, but anybody out there who speaks the Spanish, you can correct me on that. Anyway, they, they give the go-ahead. <clears throat> but the main problem they had, really, was they couldn't supply that amount of people. And obviously, some of those fillers would have had pools with water. That was the biggest problem. And also, somebody on here, a shepherd, refused to sell his bit of land. Obviously, he wanted the most as he could. So that was another stopping stone. But in the, in the meantime, um, 966 properties now this is what I go on about guys, when you're buying off plan, these people have put deposits down on properties that never got built. They did start on 572 properties. Now hopefully, we can't get in there, it's got a fence around it, so I'm going to, me and Harvey's, Harvey's here today, we're going to fly our drones over it and see if we can capture the layout. But they did say um, a couple of years ago that they wanted the whole place flattened, but thankfully some of the buildings are still here. So we'll look at that later on. Anyway, 2014, it was stopped. Um, people are still fighting in the courts to try and get their money back. Not, not a lot of hope that that will ever happen. So I always say, you know, if you're buy, buying property, off, especially off plan, make sure <laughs> that I get, I know you get a bank guarantee, but I would still make sure they're still building the places. And at the moment, there's a 34 million pound, uh, million pound, million euro compensation Will they get back? I don't think so. But anyway, should we get on with the vid?
So as we flew over the um, main buildings, you can see they're laid out. I would have said that they were the show houses for the whole complex. They look pretty big plots. As you flew out further, you could see the foundations for the other buildings. You could see like the apartment blocks where they're going to be. But they didn't have very big, if, if any really, any garden space. So there wouldn't there be any swimming pools there. Maybe that was another reason why they, you know, they had to change the project a bit by because obviously the shortage of water. Because where I am at the moment, just behind the camera, there's like a, a dried up rambler. Obviously in the storms, they, these would fill up, but would, would it be enough to supply these people? Anyway, as I always say, got to keep watching guys or you're going to miss something. I can safely say now, <laughs> I wish that was the last one, but I don't think it's the last abandoned golf course on Mercia. If you know one, let me know. I'd love to go and find another one. So me and I are back out again doing the abandoned stuff. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we'd done another abandoned golf course. And I did say then, that's not the end of them. Well, we found another one. I've got Frank Chris Atkin. He seen a photograph I put up a while back and saying if he checked out, it's a place between two towns in the Murphy region. He, think, he thought it was an abandoned hotel, but we'd just gone up to try and get near the hotel. There's a sign there saying about it's a golf club. I'll put all that information down below because I didn't have nothing on this place at all. But as we was there, <clears throat> there was a guy who went past us in a little van, didn't take much notice of him. But when we got up to the hotel, proper gates, in the courtyard was Alsatians in cages. So obviously it's security. So we thought to play it safe and not get on legs nibbled on, we come back a bit, done a bit of dronage. Um, hope you got some good shots. Yeah, keep Always finding them. Good. Yeah, so as I always say, guys, got to keep watching. Me and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>